Hello everyone. Today we want to talk about PID control in Omron PLCs. Of course, for CP, CJ, and CS series model, you can use this instruction. The PID instruction is similar for this model. For example, today we use instruction for the PID instruction for the CJ2M model, but you can use the same program for other PLCs, CJ, CP, and CS series also. In fact, you can use this program in all Omron PLCs that are programmed with the CX programmer. Maybe you know the PID control is the best control in the industrial systems, and with this control system, you can control any system in the industrial. For example, as you see here, you has a controller, temperature controller, and here you control the temperature, uh, or here you can control the level of this tank, or here also with the heater and the controller output, uh, you can control the temperature of, temperature of the water, and here uh, you can control temperature of heat, uh, water with the heater. Uh, as you see, you can control different systems with the PID systems. Uh, what is the PID controller? In the PID controller, mainly you must work with three parameters, P, I, and D. Proportional, integral, and derivative is a three coefficient that we set and adjust these three parameters, you can get a very good control on your system. Here, you have a process or, or, or your systems, and here is you have an output. This output uh, can be analog or maybe digital, no difference. And you take a measure with a sensor, and we say to this PV, and you can measure with a sensor and send to the controller and uh, compare with the set point that you have a set point and your system get this error and control the system. Three parameter here is very important. Output is MV. This feedback is PV or present value. And here it is set point or SV. And here you have a three parameter PID. And with adjust this three parameter, you can have a very good control. Here I will prepare some charts you can see here what's happened if you for example changing the each coefficient here for example you have a control you can see for example here is a temperature and here is a time second for example and here is a temperature your set point is a one degree um, or for example uh, 100 degree and the red line is your pv present value and in the zero time going up, start to going up. And for example, in 20 seconds, we reach to set point. But here, in 10 seconds, reach to set point and control very good. Or here in the 20 seconds. And for example, here in 15 seconds, reach to set point. But you have a thumb overshoot here. For example, if your, tem your ideal temperature is, for example, 100 degree but here going up to for example 120 degree and for example here you have a more overshoot and here you have very little overshoot but you have undershoot and here your system is a has an oscillation uh, here you have a big overshoot about 50 percent you have a nine uh, charts here these charts is the best one as you see, you have not any overshoot, and in the very short time, reach to set point. But maybe you could not reach to these charts, uh, depend on your system and depend of your your needs. For example, maybe customers say, "I don't need in the 10 second reach to set point, but I need or system don't have any overshoot." For example, if I will be explain here for you by for example paint. You can see here, if you have, a, for example, a box with 
this box is a PLC system. I will write here PLC. Yes, you have a PLC here. Uh, you have a, I will write, I will draw a box here. For example, this is uh, your zone, your system, your sys, sys, them. Uh, for example, you have a sensor here and measure the temperature. This sensor, for example, maybe is PT, maybe is a PT, PT 100, or for example, thermocouple. Thermocouple. For example, maybe depend of your system, you must select one sensor, and this sensor give information to the to PLC. Give information to PLC like as this, okay. And yeah, you will write a PID instruction in the PID command in your PLC, and from the PLC you will have a output to your system. You will send output. To the systems what is the systems for example you have a one heater here for example in our example real example also we have a heater here for example i will write here heater okay this output can be analog or digital uh, digital uh, analog you will get the uh, information also from a sensor the sensor must be analog for example 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliampere or for example 0 to 20 milliampere or etc you will get information from sensor with this way and control system with output of PLC analog or digital digital for example you can see digital can be SSR or contactor or, or analog maybe 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 volt uh, for example in our real example today we control or zoom with a heater and the heater is a uh, digital or heater is a digital on off on off and we will use a contactor also not SSR even but if you want maybe sometimes you must use a SSR maybe sometimes you must contactor depends of your system with this system we control uh, the, we use the PID control and adjust the P I and D parameters and we will control very very good uh, our system with only one contactor.